Almost 30 years ago I had a teacher that showed me the fastest way to really learn scale patterns. There are going to be three different exercises in this video. And uh, the first one is going to be for everyone. And what do I mean by for everyone? Well, you don't really have to know any music theory for the first exercise. The second exercise deals with uh, intervals. So it's good to have some uh, knowledge about music theory. The third exercise uh, deals with harmony. Before we start the exercise, we have to choose a pattern to learn, of course. And for this video, I will just choose the major scale. Uh, and I'm going to choose this pattern because that's a really common pattern on guitar. The point of this is, of course, to learn new scales and stuff like that. But for this video, it's easier to follow if I'm choosing a skill that most of you already know. So before we can do these exercises, we have to just play it up and down a few times. Okay, so when we have done this, we're just gonna move it away. Because this is about uh, memorizing the scale and understanding the scale. So you don't really have to have the notes and uh, uh, the scales in front of you. Okay, so the first uh, exercise is really simple. You just have to play the four first notes of the scale. And then you ask yourself, hmm, the second note, is it this one? Yeah, just play four notes from that place. So now we have and and then you ask yourself, hmm, the third note of the scale, is it this one? Yeah, and just play four notes from there. So you have and so on and so on. And you can go back. Okay, so the good thing about this is that you have to visualize the scale. Uh, not playing just the scale up and down, but uh, actually be able to see each and every note of the scale. So you can just start anywhere. So you can just make melodies and improvise and stuff like that without really thinking about, okay, uh, where do the scale start or is this the root or something like that. So the next exercise is going to be about the intervals within the scale. And uh, I will probably lose some of you now, because if you don't know what the interval is, it's going to be kind of hard to follow. But uh, yeah, maybe sometime in the future you will uh, get there. So it's uh, good to stick around anyway. A good way to visualize the scale and also understand the scale in a deeper level is that you can uh, just choose an interval, like maybe the third. <laughs> C and E in this case, and uh, then you play uh, the second note of the scale and choose a third from that note. But of course, uh, depending on where you are in the scale, the third is going to be a major or a minor third. Okay, so we're just going up and down this pattern in thirds. So. Of course, you can use uh, wider intervals. Okay, so that's a really good exercise for uh, when you want to make melodies and uh, improvise. Because if you have an idea, uh, which happens to be in uh, maybe fifths or uh, thirds or something like that, you can just move that idea up and down the scale. Okay, so now I will probably lose even more of you, because uh, the third step requires some knowledge of uh, harmony. And uh, this is an exercise to really understand which chords that are hidden within the scale. So in this uh, C major scale, uh, the first chord is going to be a C major. The note C, the note E, and the note G. That's a C major triad. So if we want to go up and down this scale pattern in triads, we're going to get C major, D minor, E minor, F major. 
G major, A minor, and uh, B diminished, and then it's going to be C major again. And of course you don't really have to use just triads, you can use uh, four part chords also, of course. So you can use like uh, C major 7, and then you can go like uh, D minor 7, and so on. Okay, so if you want to see more of these kind of videos, you can uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the notation bell and uh, yeah, hit the like button maybe. And uh, also you can comment if you have any questions about this video or if you know of any other kind of exercises that have helped you when it comes to learning scales and other patterns. Yeah, see ya! Mm -hmm.